Evolution gave us our senses, you know, seeing, hearing, smelling, and so forth, as a virtual headset, so to speak. We, we got a headset to play the game of life, and that headset hides reality, but allows us to control objective reality in the ways that we need. So it's like if you're playing, you know, like the Grand Theft Auto, like VR kind of analogy. Like if, you're, if you're playing a multiplayer game, I might be playing with someone in China or India or whatever around the world, and I could look over with my headset on, I'm looking over and see a red Ferrari. And my friend in China might also say, oh yeah, I see a red Ferrari. But of course, the red Ferrari is only there when I render it. When I look, I, the pixels appear in my headset, I then see a red Ferrari, but there's no red Ferrari in the supercomputer. Mm. And if I look away, my friend in China might say, well, I still see a red Ferrari. Well, she's seeing her red Ferrari, the one that she, she's creating in, in her conscious experience from her headset. So there, so we, we have the feeling, we could have the feeling that the red Ferrari is always there, but in fact, there is no red Ferrari anywhere except in the moment of someone's perception. The Nobel Prize last year in physics went to three physicists who had done a lot of empirical work verifying the predictions of quantum theory that local realism is, is false.